Hey, this is Jonathan from Farmer's Friend. This morning we're going to show you how to replace your drive shaft on the Quick Cut Greens Harvester. What can happen sometimes is if your drill is not tightened on real tight, um, it can start wearing down on the drive shaft. Or we've had people drop the harvester or something happens and the drive shaft gets bent and so you have to replace it. So for this project you're going to need a pair of pliers, um, Phillips head screwdriver, a 7 64ths and 8 inch Allen wrench and a little mallet or hammer to, to tap the drive shaft out. So first of all you start by removing the drill and then you have to loosen the clamp collar and the pulley on the drive shaft. So the clamp collar on the top is your 7 64ths Allen. So you would just loosen that up. You don't have to take the Allen bolt all the way out. Just loose enough so you can you can slide the, um, the clamp off. And then on the bottom, you have to loosen up the drive pulley, which is an eighth inch Allen wrench. And once you get that loose, you probably want to pop the belt off just to take tension off the pulley here. And then you have to disconnect the connecting rod from the bottom of the drive shaft. So you take a pair of pliers and um, I would recommend using some sort of rag to cut, protect the drive shaft because if you scar it up, it's going to make it harder to replace it later. So you can clamp it for, keep it from spinning and then take your Phillips head screwdriver and remove the screw in the bottom of the connecting rod that holds it to the drive shaft. Once you remove that, you can then pivot the connecting rod out and away from the drive shaft and then take your mallet or hammer and just lightly start tapping on the drive shaft and it'll start coming out the bottom. You can go ahead and pull the pulley off and it comes right out the bottom. Um, basically the reverse of that, putting it back in, um, you put it through the bottom bearing Make sure your belt is looped around the drive shaft or else you won't be able to connect that back up. And then put the drive pulley um, with the groove facing down and up through the top bearing and then push it back up. Make sure it's fully seated up against the bearing. Sometimes you may have to use a, a hammer or mallet and, and tap it up in there slightly. And then push the pulley, the little drive pulley all the way back down against the bearing and tighten it up again with your eighth inch Allen wrench and then slide your drive shaft clamp over the top and tighten it back up with the 764 Allen. You don't have to get them too tight um, or else you might never get them apart but just nice and snug. Once those two are connected uh, or tightened up, you just reconnect the connecting rod and you'll want to hold it with the pair of pliers again and a rag to protect it from scarring. And then you can get it started by hand and then tighten it up with the screwdriver. So that's how you replace the drive shaft on the Quick Cut Greens Harvester. Hope this video was helpful, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and give us a call or shoot us an email. We'll be happy to help you.